guys and welcome back to the space that gives you inspiration on work on life and on balance this entire quarter we've been talking life we've been talking motherhood and parenting and love and relationships and all of that you know, nice gooey nice stuff but soon we'll be in September, October, November, and December, where we'll be switching it up and talking, balancing work and life. Over the past month, and we started just last week, I've been sharing with you from my own personal experience, some of the feelings that, and emotions that I encountered individually just before I got into a depression and in which depression I had to come up with some tools to change the way my life was. So we're discussing the emotions and feelings that you're going through or you might be going through that are um, indication that the way you're doing life needs to change. So this week I want to talk guilt. Guilt was a major huge emotion that I felt all the time. Guilt is the pervasing, the pervasive feeling of not doing enough of not doing things right or that the decisions you're making may mess up or mess you up in the future or in the long run and it can manifest as mom guilt so you feel like you're not doing enough as a parent or for your children or you're not doing things right for your family for your children or you're making decisions that could mess up your children in the long run it could also manifest as i call it spousal guilt so you feel guilty as a wife or you feel guilty as a husband you feel you're not doing enough for your family as a husband you're not providing enough as a wife you're not giving enough sex as a mother or a homemaker your home is not great and so you're constantly feeling uh, guilty or you feel like you're not doing things right in your home you're not doing things right in your marriage or in your relationship and or that the decisions you're making now might even for, especially for the men you're like if i spend this money on this investment it might mess up my family in the future and so you're constantly not making the decision or you know because you have um that thing that i call spousal guilt it could also be employee guilt like um, you feel like you're not doing enough as a worker or as an employee and or you're not doing things right anyway because you don't meet your goals um, or any decision you're making now maybe you want to leave the job that decision might mess you up in the future um, and so you feel a certain level of guilt or it could be even um, entrepreneurial guilt um, you're feeling like my God, I'm not doing things right in my business. I don't think I'm um, doing well. I'm doing enough for my business, especially now during a pandemic. The feelings of guilt are so, so strong. And so you just might be going anyone through any one of these guilts that I talk, I'm thinking or I talk about. And or you could be just going through one of them or even all of them if your life is in you know you're in such a way that you're a mother you're a wife you're a business leader and you're an employee you could be going through all those and so you just have a general feeling of guilt in um your life and what causes this guilt one is overwhelm which was what we spoke about last week so if you've not watched my video last week on overwhelm now is the time to go back so when you come back here you understand what i mean you could be overwhelmed by life and so because of that you're feeling very unaccomplished and that you're not doing things right and you're do not doing enough and so you feel a feel a certain level of guilt you could also be having for example if you're feeling mom guilt if your child does something wrong or they act indisciplined in a certain way then you feel guilty because they are indisciplined you're feeling oh my god what i'm doing is not working what i'm doing is not right maybe what i've been doing will uh, make them worse in the future and so you feel a certain level of guilt that could be a cause because things are not going the way they should if for example you have employee guilt one of the causes could be that you're not meeting your goal so maybe you're supposed to have a certain financial goal and you're not meeting that goal and so because of that you feel like you're not accomplished and so now you have that guilt um another cause of guilt and this is probably the hugest and the worst and i absolutely hate it 
is that you are comparing yourself social media is probably one of the big reasons you see somebody you see their lives you admire their lives you want what they have whether you, it is intentional or not intentional you find that you have a certain desire to be the way that they are and so you start to compare yourself you start to ask yourself um why aren't you where that person is i mean no, not to throw any shade i see you know i see you guys give me so many comments like oh my god um you inspire me i i you know i i i when i grow up i want to be like you um and many times when i see those comments i'm just like i wish i could share what i've gone through when i was feeling guilt i did nothing about it i i just thought it's a feeling it will go um it will soon end i will recover and all of that stuff and guess what i got into a depression now my life now like you see my vlogs I, i'm looking so organized and so together and, and all of those things but it took me an entire depression and i don't wish that on even my worst enemy i don't wish a depression on even my worst enemy so yeah so feelings of um guilt could come from comparing yourself or your children to other people who look like they're doing better but you don't know what they've gone through in the back end in the background or even what they are going through at that particular time so comparing yourself is such a huge 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 you could be comparing yourself to maybe even your past how your mom raised you and so now you're feeling like you're not doing really well with your children or your children could be acting differently from other children and now that's making you feel like you're not doing enough and you're not doing right now here are some signs that you're going through um guilt either emotional guilt or i mean either employee guilt or your entrepreneurial guilt or mom guilt or any of that stuff um one you have a certain physical aggression especially the ones of mom guilt people with mom guilt you have um a physical aggression towards your children for something really small you're slapping you're hitting you're kicking um something that you could have um maybe just maybe hunt maybe let's say you were you're supposed to have used a slipper right now you get a wire or you get i don't know you strip them of their clothes pour water on them and then spank them because it's like the aggression is too 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 much that's a sign because you're trying so much to make everything right with your child so you're Ah, ah, ah. you get physical you don't even have the patience to walk them through the journey of being disciplined you're just you go at them um or you could be overcompensating it could be <laughs> it could be the other way around where you now because you feel so guilty that you could have done things wrong you might not be doing things right now you overcompensate you're buying too many presents you're buying too much ice cream you're making too many promises they do things wrong and you do nothing you because you're just like i don't i don't get the time to spend with them so now is the time for me to compensate and then you're doing you're you're overcompensating because you that because of that of that guilt if it is for example um at work they you go over and above you're spending hours on end working because you're overcompensating so that you tell yourself man i spent the whole night doing work right this is just you trying your best to tell yourself not to feel guilty it's past work hours you should be with your family you should be with your children you should be with your wife you should be getting a life but no you're at work why you're overcompensating the guilt that you have when you feel that as an employee you're not doing really well you are an entrepreneur you go and borrow money so that you can pay your staff members more money because you feel like you're not doing enough for that business you get what i'm saying so you become an overcompensator that is a, a huge huge sign that you might be going through guilt 
now um um you have a desire to leave or to exit you're like you know what anyway i don't i'm not even such a great partner so i might as well divorce him i feel like i'm not even such a great father or i'm not such a great mother i don't know why i even had these children that deep desire to leave or to exit i don't think i'm doing well as a wife i'm not doing well as an employee so i might as well just leave so that deep desire to leave or to exit might be a huge sign that you have guilt you have life guilt um, in any one of the areas that we spoke about. So how can you overcome this guilt? One, stop comparing yourself. If you're on um, a channel that makes you feel like you're comparing, they feel, you, they feel like they're better than you and you should do better, remove them, unsubscribe, apart from me, because me, at least I'm telling you what's going on, right? For me, I'm kawa. If, if you're feeling like uh, you'd like to be me and i am over putting so much guilt and pressure on you to be a better person mother what, what, what. don't block me i think the advice i'm giving doesn't apply to me no seriously though if i do it's time to unsubscribe seriously if if those are feelings that i make you feel personally i'd rather you come back when you're bomb 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 diggity the real you, a happy, fulfilled you, not when you're broken. Um, I would prefer that, you know, we enjoy this ride together. I'll miss you though. I'll, I will miss you. But um, for those of you that haven't subscribed and you should be subscribing, now is the time to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you feel nothing for me. Right? Like, just like this chick, she's nice, she's cool, can listen to her. Yeah, just, just subscribe. But if I bring some negative emotions, now is the time to unsubscribe. Um, knowing that I'll miss you. Anyway, moving on, <laughs> moving on, leave those social media pages and like, unsubscribe those people that you follow that make you feel a certain way. Two, um, remember that life comes without a manual. Motherhood comes without a manual. Nobody's figured it out. I tell you, no one has figured life out. It doesn't come with a manual. For real. Like all we do is give advice up to a certain point after which we are also learning a new thing. And we, are, we just keep learning from somebody else who has gotten to that life stage before you. But nobody has life figured out. So remember that life is not figured out. And you're figuring your life out. So please that's a good way to look at it knowing that life comes without a manual there's something i want to talk about especially to the moms there's something called the motherhood myth where you're the perfect person you don't have a weakness you don't make mistakes you you're, you're the one who creates the best meals you're the one who has the most beautiful home you're the one who's the best wife you're the one who the children love you are the one. that is a myth i I, and I think I talked about it last month, being vulnerable with your children, with your spouse and saying, I'm not perfect. I see that there's a need for me to do something, but I don't feel like it. Friends, there are times in this home, in my life, where I have nicely packed cooked meals and I really don't want to put the food in the microwave. I would rather ask the guys in, you know, the uh, nearby, to bring us chips because i really don't want to get up and cook for real so there is no such thing as a perfect mother a perfect wife it seems like it but there's no such thing so cut yourself some slack another thing to overcome is have self-compassion feel for yourself like for real i mean have self-compassion you, you you don't get it and we don't get it nobody got it so be more compassionate with yourself remember what do you want to do no, right <laughs> i mean in english that means it's, you're human you also get tired um ask for help ask for help it was one of the hardest things that i ever had to learn and i i mean i don't mean ask for help from only people you could ask for help from machinery my i i'm a machinery person yeah my help for washing clothes is a washing machine my help for mopping my home is a stand broom and a stand mop that's my asking for help so ask for help 
um lower your expectations that's another one like you clearly have very high expectations of yourself can you meet those expectations those high expectations absolutely yes especially if you've seen somebody else has it means you also can it's just that it's not for now <laughs> does that make sense it's not for now i'll give you i'll i mean i'll tell you for a fact there's a time i wanted my home to look a certain way it was looking nothing like that now i had to get to a place of lowering my expectations of what my home looked like i had to drop back so that I could stop being stressed by the fact that what I wanted to see, which is where I'm at right now, um, can't, can't happen at that time. I had to lower my, I had to draw back, right? And then now, instead of wishing for a black and white, gold and silver themed home with greens and plants and all of that stuff, at the moment, in that time, when I wanted it exactly how I needed it at that time, I lowered my expectations. And when I did, I started to work on one place at a time. Work on my room, one section of my room at a time. Work on my living room, one section at a time. Before I knew it, in over a period of a year, I had gotten to where I wanted to be. But what did that mean? I had to first lower my expectations to now get to where i'm at i really wanted to have meals healthy meals for my family i needed to first lower my expectations and say okay can i do one healthy meal a week i mean a, a day in the week absolutely so let's do that so only sunday then when that was accomplished i was like hmm maybe i can try also tuesday now before i know it most of my days with my children have healthy and my family have healthy meals. And then the last one I'd like to share with you is to count your blessings. Every time I'm feeling guilty and that I'm not doing enough, uh, like for example, this week, this week I've been, I've, 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 been, I've, I've been feeling like I'm not doing enough, especially with the kids. I feel like I've not been spending enough time with them. Um, I mean, they've also communicated it. And so I've been, I've been feeling funny, but one of the things that I've learned to do is to count my blessing, to count that, yes, I might not be spending enough time with them, but I'm alive and so are they. And that's a blessing. Um, we have a home under one roof. None of my children is with another person. They're all with me. I'll count that blessing. If it's a job, count the blessing that you have a job. If it's um, um, a, a business, count the blessing that you have a business, that you have employees, that you can pay them even a quarter of what you used to pay them. Count your blessing. See the miracle. There's, there's a, a new song by Elevation Worship, I think it's called Miracle. And it goes, miracle, a miracle, a million little miracles. Miracle on miracles, count your miracles, one, two, three, four, I could even count them all. Count your miracles, count your blessings. Until next time, subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know how you're feeling and what you think about guilt. Until next time. Or, oh, if you still want to be a part of that WhatsApp group, um, you know, just of people doing life together, of women doing life together, um, the link is in the description box. Come on in. Let's talk. We're, I mean, it's such a community already as it is. And remember, we have only two rules in that group. Two rules in that group. One, two rules. One, learn to share or teach. You're going to be a taker, but also a giver. Until next time.